Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to the finals of the one day January 11th, 2014 tournament. And this is going to be between God and Drone. We have seen both these players do extremely well in their respective games, and now we are going to see how they fare off against each other. First match is going to be on Titan Duel. It's going to be a best of five. And then once that's done, that'll be it. I can have lunch. Well, okay, also, that's that's the tournament. That's how it goes. We'll see how what happens. Hopefully, it'll be a very good set. It's a best of five. And once the players get started, we will have this game going. So we've seen God has... Actually, I haven't seen God a lot. I have been casting a lot of his games, mostly because they're kind of foregone conclusions. And this one may be an exception, though. We'll see Drone starting out. We have seen a lot of Drone's games. Drone is... It does actually a lot of different things. God getting up a light vehicle factory in Titan Duel is not unusual. Drone, knowing his style, he might go for tanks, might go for vehicles, probably going to go for vehicles against God. That would be the most likely thing. And there is the vehicle factory. God getting early darts. Last time we saw God do a wonderful job with darts. He did a great job harassing when he was fighting against... Cl well, actually, Magman, I believe. And just completely tore it apart. Now, Drone, I'm not sure if he's going to be as vulnerable. And Drone wasn't... Is that the Magman or Klon? Yeah, Klon, I think. Was going for tanks. I think. Yes, he was going for tank. And the thing is, is that he could not... The Panthers would have dealt with the darts no problem, but the darts, of course, could just bypass them. Oh, God. Once again, appears to be going heavy... Actually, no, not going for heavy dart. Going three darts early on. Enough to harass pretty effectively. He can get this metal extractor without any issue, although, admittedly, the Scorcher is a bit of an issue. And... After that, looks like Scorchers on of his own are being built up. Well, Drone only built up darts for scouting. And that scouting is going to be fairly useful, fairly good to know about, because that is... Still knows that God is... Oh, he knows God is going for light vehicles. He knows that God has expanded a bit already to the north, and... Of course, he really does know that God is harassing pretty effectively. Mike... Not going to get rid of his metal extractor in time. That dart... No, actually, very nice micro, but still not quite drone able to stop that dart, ultimately. But still, very clever micro there from God, trying to avoid getting hit by the Scorcher. And this dart might actually... Wouldn't be surprised if it were to turn around and go back and hit the Metal Extractor. And it looks like... No, it's going to try to do that, but it's going to get hit in the process. And actually, it... That's exactly what it's doing. It is doing exactly that, but it's going to get intercepted. This one Scorcher here stops it from actually killing anything, which is... Probably, well, it's for the best for a drone, that's for sure. He actually has lost no metal at this point. No metal income has been lost for drone. God's harassment has been completely ineffective so far. So far as harassment has been ineffective, we'll see what happens as the game continues, because as the game continues, more harassment is likely forthcoming, which means, of course, that God has more chances to just deal a ton of damage. And we shall see how that pans out. <clears throat> it looks like we have Riot and Ecel. Interesting choice against light vehicles. I could sort of see the point because light vehicles are quite fast, though Beam Laser is, as you can see, fairly effective. I mean, Rai can't have a long reload time. It does push units away. That is one thing. And God not letting his commander be sniped. He does not want to let that happen, and he's got the power to do so. He has enough Scorchers in place to do so. Focusing a bit more on defense, or at least on consolidating a bit before he pushes out. He's likely to push out I'd imagine fairly soon. He is pushing out a few Scorchers. He is going for a bit of scouting with the Scorchers. That is important to bear in mind. Actually, he's pushing out right now, very heavily, into Drone's base. And Drone is going to be taking quite... Well, he's probably going to take quite a bit of damage. The Scorchers are not in position. They are kind of away from each other. He has more drone, has more Scorchers coming in. His energy is actually a bit lower, too. So both, both players are even for metal. Even for metal, drone's a bit behind in energy, but not by much. Just a bit behind in production. He is he is definitely behind in military. That's a huge thing. He's focused a lot on building up more constructors, getting laser tower as well. And drone getting rid of one of the darts, trying to harass him. But the scorcher, that's what's really the harassment. Getting rid of one of drone scorchers. About to lose one of his own in the process, though. This scorcher here is 7 health. Cannot afford to be put forward like that. Because that is a big loss. And another Scorcher going down for a drone. God 
gaming all of his course is very much alive and drone losing all of his pretty much one by one. Another metal extractor going down, so now drone has lost metal extractors. Another a third metal extractor, second metal extractor going down, along with radar. So at this point, drone has radar at the center of the map, but not near his base. Mostly not that big of a deal. God, on the other hand, only has radar to the center of the map. So drone has a bit more knowledge of what's going on. But God has a much, much, much stronger military. And has it is very effectively harassing. Dropping drone down to eight metal. Okay, at this point, God has three times the metal of drone has pretty much the only military in the game. And Drone is basically just pushing his commander down into a pit. Pushing his commander down to a pit so it's harder for the score or impossible for the scorchers to get to him. And yeah, this is basically a protracted forfeiture. I would imagine that we will be seeing a GG pretty quickly. I I mean, a lot of laser turrets here, but this is just... This is a silly use of terraform. Not too hard to deal with. God's likely just to tear apart everything else that exists on this map and then not worry about the commander. Really, the commander's not that important, so... I imagine he's not going to worry too much about it. And then eventually probably get in with... Oh, what is it? Oh, she drones coming back? Okay, he's elevating himself back up to the main level of the map. He's built his laser turrets. He's, I guess... Confident? Not sure exactly why I was doing that because really he his main hope was in not getting hit by scorchers, I guess. I mean, admittedly a shadow if he had if God had air switch or when God air switch, which he most likely will do, a shadow or two would have killed it. But yeah, that God's not even going for a comp snipe, he's just going straight for the main base and looks like he's gonna get it. He has a, 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 almost a dozen scorchers <clears throat> against half a dozen from Drone and drone scorches are basically going to go down. There's not much more that can stop them. And it looks like God is getting up a caretaker just to get... Not just a caretaker, he's getting caretakers, he's getting masons. He's still... He's excessing metal despite the fact that he's doing everything in his power to not excess metal. And has three times or twice the economy of drone. Drone is pushing it all into this factory, but even then, it's not enough. I imagine we might see a switch off from scorchers pretty soon, but I think God might just go for straight scorchers and try to completely overwhelm for... Drone with Scorchers. But it looks like... I think God is... God is aware of this laser surgery. He's aware of the stuff here. Probably aware that it is static defense. Also aware of the terraform. The terraform does go through Fog of War. So God's fully aware of what's going on here. And is going into the laser turret. He is voluntarily going to the laser turret. As well as getting some damage done elsewhere. But the laser turret won't last long against these forces. Against the Scorchers. Neither laser turret lasts long. That turret form really was pointless. But ultimately, God just has drone surrounded. There's really no way that drone can expand out from here, and God's just harassing everything he tries to expand to within the territory that drone still can possibly take. Or at least take easily. So at this point, God just needs to go in for the kill, and then that will be game two. And no, it won't! Drone GG's, that is game one! So we, that is the first game of the finals. Second game will be starting shortly, so please stay tuned for that. As it will be pretty soon. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the second game of five of the finals of the January 11th, 2014 Zero K tournament. This is going to be Drone versus God. Drone the Organizer versus God, the best player in the game, which has not been proven false. In fact, God's been completely undefeated so far. Thus far, every game God has been in, he is 2 0 This is actually also true of Drone. Neither player has been defeated. This is actually the first... Last game was the first game Drone lost. That was the very first game that Drone has lost this entire tournament. So we'll see how this goes once the game gets started. We're on Comet Catcher Redux, which is not a map I don't think I've ever shown on the stream. I, I don't recall it ever being... Yeah, I, I've never seen this map before. So we will get to it as soon as the game gets started, once the players are ready. And this is going to be the finals. Like I said, this is the finals. This is it. The last set of games, possibly the last two games, depending on how... Basically depending on how Drone does. If Drone does well, then it won't be the last two games. It'll be simply the 
last three games or possibly four games. And we are starting. So drone is in the south side of the map and God is in the north side. As you can see, it is a large map. It is a very, very large map. And kind of rectangular, very much north to south. With quite a lot of metal on it as well. This is... I'm surprised this was actually allowed as one of the tournament maps. It was allowed as one of the tournament maps, but just look at how big it is. It's huge. Well, anyway, this might be a while, so strap in anyone. This is this is going to be a bit of a game. So God going forward with a few opening darts, as is Drone. Both players going for light vehicles. Drone going for very quick mace and not really bothering too much with scouting because I guess he figures this map's so big it does not matter. However, given that God really likes his harassment, especially with darts, that may not be a safe assumption. We'll see how it pans out, though. Drone is definitely working on his expansion, though. He has another metal extractor set up by this mason. Probably a few more queued up fairly soon, but he is going to be harassed. There's a scorcher coming, or a dart coming down along that side. That's going to harass this mason, no problem. Or with some problem. This laser turret, he needs to be careful of that. But at the same time, Dart trying to do what it can. Getting rid of a metal extractor. Actually, Drone taking off a metal extractor from God with nice dart harassment. More darts coming in. Looks like Drone is trying to pull a God here with mass dart harassment. Just using that to win instead of trying to go for late game economy or trying to defend so much himself. We'll see how that pans out. Looks like God is also pulling a God. Which is exactly what we'd expect him to do since he is God. That's his name. And he's doing it much better too. Getting rid of two metal extractors without any interference. He's going to lose this dart if he goes too close to the laser, but he's not going to do that. He is going to actually keep it alive and get rid of Drone's dart as well. Nicely done there. Drone does have God's base around him, but God has enough scorches around the and slashes around. Actually, the slasher is the big thing. That slasher will stop any dart harassment at this point. There is nothing to worry about for God, so God's base is safe. Although immediately another dart could go in here. Once again, fire through the solar plants into, the de into that metal extractor. That would do the trick, but it doesn't look like that's likely to happen, especially since this dart is about to die as it goes down to the slasher. Now, at the same time, we do see that drone is expanding up quite a bit, as is God. Both players are expanding, and God actually is expanding faster, I think. See, God right now has... He has four metal extractors, and drone has three, actually. So drone is slightly behind for metal. He has more metal extractors started, or had more metal extractors at one point. But really doesn't matter. What matters is the metal extractors that actually exist. That's really all that matters. And bit of a misfire there. <laughs> the mason rocked right into the, or drove right into the slasher's missile path, getting hit itself. Not the biggest deal. Won't matter ultimately, but... Drone is definitely working on... Both players are working very heavily on expansion. Neither player wants to be behind in economy. This is extremely important, of course, because that is the lifeblood of the game. You have to have good economy in this game in order to have enough units in order to do anything. Either to get the powerful units in order to really tear apart your opponent's base, or just to get a lot of units to simply overwhelm them. You need money. Or metal and energy, rather. Much more base resources. And a slasher, once again, misfiring, hitting the metal extractor. Those slashers are really not sure whose side they're on. I right now think Epic Strone's best ally right now has been God Slashers. It's also been his worst enemy. I seriously doubt that's going to end up actually working out for Drone in the long run, though. God Slashers are mostly hitting Drone's forces. However, Drone does have a nice harassment path here. Unfortunately for him, losing a Scorcher to a dart, but fortunately for him, this Scorcher here has free reign to get rid of this Mason as well as this Metal Extractor. The Mason cannot move... Uh, can move away in time because the Scorcher did try to avoid the slasher and that mostly wise however the mason now down that slasher dealing quite a bit of damage but no the scorcher not getting close enough to kill that slasher or even really scratch the paint very much only a quarter damaged at this point not really what drone wants i'm sure he wanted to kill that but of course he needs to get close the slashers need to get close to the scorcher sorry swords need to get close to the slashers in order to kill them otherwise it's not gonna work scorch needs to get close to anything to kill them and at this point, God has pretty much... He is pushing out a lot of darts that are moving out. They're moving out in order to deal with everything over to the south here. There are some defense turrets in place, but it may not be enough. And at this point, the economy is fairly even, but an air switch coming over from God 
That will take more advantage of the size of the map than the vehicle switch, or vehicle start certainly did. But even the vehicle start's doing a decent job. A couple of darts being lost. This laser dart, about, the Lotus is up. The dart trying to do what it can, but it can't really damage the Lotus that effectively that quickly. Two darts, two more darts lost in the process as a result of that. And the rest are going back. They are going to be able to get rid of this defender. No, no, they won't. Both of them go down to the defender. Wheels flying as they just get destroyed utterly. Well, Drone moving up as well. God's main force is being destroyed, but he still has some darts to harass with. He still has to contend with the fact that there's a lot of static defense on the map. That is the case. He is choosing, however, to do so by building shadows. Probably to go try to kill the Calm or possibly kill some other targets of choice. Maybe just one per metal extractor. That sort of thing. I mean, there aren't a lot of defenders, and Slashers are doing a great job dealing with any of Drone's forces coming in. I mean, Drone has sent in... What's I think it's the second Scorch so far that's died to Slashers. And that dart going down to a Scorcher of its own. Let's double check Vision right now. Drone has a decent idea of his own side. God, on the other hand, has actually not as much radar. Doesn't have really any idea of what's going on here other than the line of sight. He does have ideas about the rest of the map. And no, the Shadows are apparently being used for direct destruction of single units. Well, I guess what they do, but I mean Scorchers. Small units, not going for any mexes or the commander or anything like that. Incidentally, the commander is... where exactly? I'll find it soon enough. Oh, the commander, okay, so Drone's commander is near the front, only been morphed once. God's commander, same thing, only been morphed once. Both players are not focusing very heavily on commanders, but there is one shadow coming in for the commander, dealing about a third, a little over a third damage. Another shadow coming in to try to finish it off, an Avenger just in case. Looks like he's just trying to scout out, see exactly what's up, and an airplane switch over from Drone as well, but God wants to make sure he has enough Avengers to keep his dominance over the skies. And this shadow appears to be going... Let's see, where's the shadow going? This shadow is not quite going over to the commander quite yet. No further missions have been scheduled to try to kill the commander outright, but apparently now they... No, going instead for the Razor's... Where is he going for? He is going for the commander, and we'll get rid of it too. There goes that commander going down, the explosion killing off the shadows in the process, but that is actually not that effective. At this point, the economy is so huge that losing six energy is nothing. Like I said, this map, given the size of this map, that is not surprising. Losing the commander is meaningless. And right now, I mean, you have 53 metal, or 56 metal to 38 metal. That's a bit of a big difference, yes. But losing a commander is not going to do much to that. Now, in terms of build power, that is important. And Crashers have also been set up to try to get rid of the Avengers. Vamps as well. Drone is definitely trying to make sure he still has some ability to get into the skies. Let's see. There are ten Masons on the map, and about split half and half. So both players have about four Masons. Four for God, six for Drone. And Drone has just lost that Vamp into, into the sky, because Vamps ignore gravity. They just do that. They're just that aerodynamic, you know, even in their death spin. They simply ignore gravity and go off into the abyss. Or actually go off into the sky themselves, into space. Admittedly, this looks like it's probably on an asteroid of some sort, so... This really does look like it's on an asteroid of some sort. Yep, there's the sun. That's about it. No stars either. In fact, I'm a bit surprised. However, beside the point, the point is God is going to be taken to the west side of the map. And a lot of defenses have been set up for Drone. He has... He sets it up pretty well, but losing one of his Masons... Losing... Well, not actually losing anything. The Vamp getting destroyed and hitting the ground this time. Another Shadow... A bunch of Shadows taking out these Mexes and taking out defenses around the Mexes. As expected. I mean, once he gets the calm done, the next target is the Mexes. I'm a bit surprised God hasn't built up a rearm plant. He has not built up an airplane rearm repair pad. Which is very surprising. Now, at the same time, we do see more vamps are coming up here, and more crashers are also... Or sorry, scorches are coming up. The crashers appear to have been a dead end. Or at least that's apparently what Drone thinks. And God coming in, harassing along the east side of the map, taking out more and more of Drone's economy, and Drone has a lot of reclaim coming in. He has a lot of metal extractors as well. The economy is mostly even, but at this point, 70 metal up for God. Seriously, 70 metal in a 1v1? Yeah, there's the rearm plant. Sheesh, a Strider hub is forthcoming. I'm not kidding. There's going to be Striders in this match. I am sure of it. Unless unless Drone surrenders now, someone's building Striders. Anyway, west side of the map, we see that there is 
There are enough crashes to actually force the Avengers to retreat, while God making sure he uses Air Force to ensure that he does have some dominance over the west side of the map, over the northwest side of the map, but at this point, it's kind of evened out. Drone is still behind, but... Actually, he's behind very heavily in terms of military. Extremely heavily in terms of military. A leveler has been built up to try to deal with these slashers, but not fast enough, unable to actually deal with them. The Avenger doing what it can as well, which isn't a whole lot, unfortunately. And God has taken over his side of the map quite decisively. He does have his rearm repair pad. No such pad for Drone, but no real reason for that, honestly. He does not need that as much as God did. And God really has the skies now. As we can see, God's Air Force is quite impressive. He has a lot of planes. He doesn't have a whole lot of ground. Actually, he has fragment grenades too, but definitely a lot of planes. Pretty much can take out anything. Taking out a Razor's kit. Taking out a dedicated anti air laser with air. That's how much air God has right now. Basically, taking out everything that. Drone tried to build up, unable... Drone is basically unable to deal with this at this point. Not sure if he's going to try to go for anything big. Uh, he's going for levelers on the ground, but not going for any crashes anymore. He has a few crashes, but not trying to mass-produce them. Mass-producing levelers instead. And... No, there's no Strider Hub yet. There's a fusion plant being built up. God's about to get fusion energy. But he's not got Striders. Which I suppose isn't totally surprising. He's probably just going for mass production of forces. And going for the kill from there. And all the Avengers and Shadows are repairing and rearming on that very appropriately named pad. As God just comes in and it tears apart everything that Drone has, just ripping apart his metal one extractor at a time. And that is game two! Thank goodness two, it only lasted ten minutes because that match was insanely big. So that is game two. We will have game three shortly. Stay tuned for that. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Game Three. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Game Three of Five of the Final. Sorry, I accidentally canceled the stream there. That's kind of distracting. Game Three of Five of the Finals of the Zero K 2014 January 11th Tournament. So we have God versus Drone. It has been two games so far. God has won both, and we're in the third game on Deadlands. So this is the absolute final game if God wins. This is the... God will be completely undefeated if he wins, actually. If he loses, then we're on to game four, and we'll see what happens. But if he wins, then that is the tournament. That's been like five hours. I, I'm surprised at myself that I'm able to keep my voice like this for five hours, because I've had a couple water breaks, and that's about it. So, this is possibly about to come to a close. Depends on how Drone does. He might do better on Deadlands than he did on Comic Catcher. Well, let us begin and see what happens. So, God going for a very quick morph. And Drone as well for a very quick morph. And Metal Extractor. There we go. Shield or Spider Bot Factory. Interesting choice. I mean, on a map like this, it's not terribly surprising. There are some cliffs and such, but I'm still kind of surprised. I mean, really, Spider Bots are a little bit... No, that, that, that's a little bit unusual to me. I don't quite understand why spiders. And no factory from Drone yet. Now, Drone has lost the last couple of matches, so he might be a little bit distracted. Hopefully not too much. And light vehicle. Now, admittedly, there are a lot of flat sections on this map, so I'm not terribly surprised. But this is pretty much the exact antithesis of each other in terms of terrain. Light vehicle is basically... Oh, my goodness. I mean, light vehicle is entirely about flat terrain. Spiders are entirely about hilly terrain. So it's really a matter of who uses their optimal terrain best, I suppose. Over Flea and... Well, Flea going down to a dart does not last against dart, and... They... What do you mean? Why are these flat? I don't understand what he's concerned about. It's a normal map. That's how normal maps work. They make things look they have depth when they don't. Anyway. Dart coming in for drone to try to deal with God's force. I think God might be actually going a bit easy on drone right now. He's not morphing... Well, he was morphing his commander, but he seemed to have stopped. Going for spiders instead. I mean, I guess at this point he's won two matches. He might as well just do something silly. I don't understand the exact... I mean, like I said, in Deadlands, there is a lot of room for spiders to use the cliffs effectively. 
But I still don't quite understand entirely how this is meant to be tactically advantageous. I think God is just going a little bit easy on Drone. A little bit easy. I mean, spiders are still fairly powerful. Tricky to use, but still fairly powerful. And... God coming in here, he knows what Drone is up to. He knows that... Actually, Drone getting levelers... Not a bad idea, actually. Pretty good idea, in fact. Because drones are going to be... Sorry, not drones. Levelers are going... Drones levelers are going to be the best thing you can have against Venoms. Or one of the better things you can have against Venoms. Venoms wouldn't be able to stun them quite so quickly. And wouldn't be able to dodge that effectively either. But still, it's... It's going to be tough. At this point, God is not producing all that much. He's walking his commander forward, trying to get some economy built up. Getting in the center of the map very quickly. And these darts are spotting what's going on. The commander is not... 20% morphed so far. And Drone not paying attention. Losing a dart for free. And the rest of the darts are moving back to try to harass God while he's out of his base. Now, there still is a laser turret that'll help. But at this point, they're trying to attack from through the solar plant. You trying to attack in a way that attack. uses the solar plant as best as possible. Which will be interesting. I'm not sure this is going to work out. It might just work. And one of them going down. Oh, boy. The rest of them are... Depends on how they position themselves, the Venom can on has only so much splash. But apparently it's enough. There's only so much splash that they can stun lock in one shot. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. However, okay, shotgun against leveler against riot cannon. So basically two levelers against more or less, well, shotgun calm. I mean, yes, that's actually on the, it's not amphibious unit, but <clears throat> it's on the scallop, the amphibious riot unit, but since Amphib is rarely played, you don't see it very much. Mostly you see it in commanders like that. Hmm. Anyway, God's commander is really moving very dangerously forward, but with the Venom support, this is actually looks like he's working out fairly well. Now, Drone does have an economic advantage. It must be pointed out. Drone has an economic advantage of about four metal right now, and God's trying to do what he can with a shotgun here, but it looks like his commander is still in a really bad spot. The slashers are doing a nice job. I mean, Drone is basically setting up for defense, which is not a bad idea. Just setting up in case... Trying to make sure that Venoms can't get close. Trying to make sure that anything else that tries to come in has to defend. Spiders typically have weaker units overall, than, like frailer units overall than the other factories to make up for the terrain advantages. So, Drone is clearly trying to focus more on defense. Trying to make sure that the Venom simply can't get anywhere advantageous. But there's enough Venoms they can get rid of the Slasher. I mean, still one-shot stun lock Slasher. So these Slashers can't... Really, they have to have something in front to distract. And unfortunately, that was one of the slashers. So this still isn't working out especially well for Jordan. He's not stopping the slashers in time. I think he is he is clearly quite tired. I mean, he has been playing all day. This is a one-day tournament, which means that at the end of the day, it's, it, it's been playing for... Playing or at least watching matches for at least five hours or four or five hours. They've been doing this. I mean, it's been since, well, 6 p.m. GMT, which is about, well, five and a half hours ago. And that's... The levelers are trying to do what they can, but unfortunately, while they're stunned with EMP, they can't. The slashes were not a bad idea. It's just, you have to set them up in a nice line first so that they can just tear apart anything that comes close. And once again, Venoms have some sort of fodder. But I think... I think Drone is probably just going to throw in the towel at this point. His main base, he has a comm in the doorstep. It is a level 1 comm, so it's still something that can be dealt with. But the Venoms on top of that are just stopping anything from actually being able to deal with it. Doing a nice job tanking for the Venoms as the Venoms just tear apart everything else. Just stun log everything else and make sure that's nothing that Drone can really do. Drone's own commander actually did go down. It's... Went down rather ingloriously. And that is game. That is match. That is the tournament. God has won to nobody's surprise. But still congratulations to God for winning. I mean, it was a bit... Well, like I said... Not surprising. But yeah, that is... That is game. That is God winning 3 to nothing, Completely taking this tournament by storm. And that is... That is going to be it. So thank you all very much for watching. All... Nearly 30 of you, actually. Is, the peak viewing count was 30, which I think is a record for me. Except for the... Well, yeah, pretty much I think it's a record. I, I haven't been checking... Only recently been checking the amount of viewers on the stream, but still, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. If you didn't watch it here, you can catch it on YouTube eventually. It's going to take a little while to edit all these videos into a usable form. And also, Crazy Eddie did some ca casts 
I'm not sure if Professional, also known as Spanish Monster, did any casts. He was trying to, but he had to go away for something. But yeah, Crazy Eddie is doing some casts as well, or did some casts. He's going to throw those on YouTube, most likely. So you can check those out as well, and thank you once again for watching. That is it. Good night, everybody.